Hi everybody, welcome to Lumbicious. My name is Nancy and today we are going to make this cute pencil topper, the border collie. I will make it brown uh, instead of black because I already have a black one. So uh, you are free to change all the colors around. Uh, the band count can be found in the description below this video. So please check there if you want to know how many bands you need. These are uh, small projects, so we don't need that many bands. Mostly around a hundred of your main color and about half of that for the second main body color approximately. So uh, check the description below to see how many bands you need. And let's start with this border collie. I'm going to do the ears first. So I will turn my loom. Your loom is in offset. Uh, where are my brown bands? Here. And the ear will be completely double looped. So grab a single main body color band and follow me. You can be anywhere on your loom. All singles double looped. You do have to mirror this ear. So you can put it on immediately. Diagonally. Another one. Diagonally, all double looped, and one here again. Grab a single band, wrap it around four times. Was this the four time? Yes. It doesn't have to be that tight. So. Something like this, we're going to place the horizontal bands. So one double looped here. And one band double looped here. This will be the ear. You will have to mirror this. So you're simply going to do exactly the same thing, but on the opposite side. So place three here, two here, one here, and make the same figure and add this band on top. So you have exactly the same thing. If you don't completely understand what I mean, I have my drawing here. You have to do this in order to mirror it. So pause the video, check out how I wrote this down and put it the same way on your loom. As you can see, DL means double looped. CB is cap bent four times. So that way I can see what I did. Otherwise, I really wouldn't understand how I created it. So this is to show you guys how to mirror things. We're going to loom the ear right now. It's very simple. Loom over. You can loom this completely. Can be a bit tight. This is a bit tricky. Go behind all your bands. Make sure you grab that double loop band. Also loom up this column. And one final set. Or set one final band. Grab three other colored bands and tie this off. This will be the whole ear. Not that big. And three loose ends. This is a bit different than my other designs. But it's not that hard to attach it. But we will attach one piece of that ear on the second layer. Not on the top layer. But I will show you guys. It's very simple to do so. So remove this from your loom. Create that second ear. So it looks like this. Create a second ear, but mirror it. And do you really have to mirror it? 
Hmm. I'm not even sure. They both look the same to me. Well, doesn't matter if you mirror it or not. Just make another one. Um, and let us continue with the top of the head. Two bands at a time. Also grabbing a little bit white here. And you can switch brown to black, of course, or even another color if you like. All two bands still grab a single white band, wrap it around here four times as cap bands. So we create a white stripe on the top of his or her head. Place your horizontal bands, also two bands at a time. Mm. Yeah, we have to place the ears after we loom. Yeah, we have to pull it through, yeah. Okay, because this is a bit different, I really have to check how I did it. I did it last night, but uh, I, I already forgot how I did it, so I'm glad I wrote everything down. Um, this will be the top of the head. So uh, let's start looming. Go behind your cap band, grab the first two. Loom up the center. Completely, we don't need to add anything onto there. Loom up once on the side. And then we're going to attach the ear. So here I am again. We're going to attach the ears in a different way because I did it wrong. So here we go. This is the top of the head. Now grab your ear. There is a little bit of shape in this ear. So hold it like this. And stick your hook through the first set. I did this wrong, so I'll cut out that material from my video, but stick your hook through here. We're going to attach that around this set. Slide it onto there. And replace those bands. Then loom one set further. My kid is set sitting next to me. Almost laughing very hard. <laughs> Stick your hook through the ear again from the back to the front. So, like this. Then grab the next set. Only the top two loops. And slide it onto there. And replace. Now the ear is attached correctly. We also have to do this on the opposite side. So grab your other ear, have it like this. Stick your hook through the first set here on top. Make sure you go through the loops and have all of them on your hook. I can't get my hook through correctly. Yeah, like this. So have it like this on your hook. Lift up those bands here and slide it onto there. Replace those bands, loom one set further. Stick your hook through the middle set from the back to the front. Lift up those bands you just loomed and slide it onto there. This is a bit tricky, but you can manage. If it doesn't get stuck. And replace those bands. I see my tying band is stuck in between. Now grab 
some other bands to tie off. Oh, I'm tying with a stuck here also. This is the correct correct way to attach them to the top of the head. The rest of the film will be of the video will be correct. So the next layer of the head I did attach the ears correctly. So just follow the rest. But this will be the correct attachment for the ears on top of the head. I did that wrong. So I wanted to show you guys how to do it the right way. Otherwise it will look a little bit weird. So this will be the top of your head with the ears attached correctly. Enjoy the rest of the video. See ya. Aside, now we're going to do the middle portion of the head. Two bands at a time. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that's about it for the brownish color. Now we need to place white bands. This will always be this will also be a little bit different than my other tutorials. We have to place three white. So place three here and another three below that. These are both three bands. Now continue with two bands. Also in the center. Yes, two. I will check. Because I didn't wrote it down. These are double leaves. Three, three. three. Wait a second. Huh, I forgot to wrote them all down, but I guess those are all double looped bands. I really have to check now on my own. These are three, three, two, no, this is correct. Double loop a single white here. I have to turn my loom again for this, I can't do it sideways. So let me turn my loom. Double looped and another double looped. This should be correct. These are singles, double looped. Also on the side. And diagonally. All single double looped and diagonally here. And I will count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, this is correct. We now grab two um, white bands, wrap them around your hook three times or two times. So you have a tiny chunk here. Slide it onto this band. And replace. Same thing on the opposite side. So create a tiny chunk of bands. Slide it onto there. There we go. Now we're going to place the horizontal bands, a single white double looped here. 
another single white double looped. Now grab two white bands, two more. Now grab um, two brown bands, place them here. That's about it. We need to create the eyes, of course. So grab your eye color, mine will be green this time. Wrap the band around twice. Grab a black band, wrap that around four times. Grab that eye color band again, wrap it around twice. So it looks like this. Grab your main body color. Stretch it out, double loop it, stretch it out and get everything onto there. Well, eye placement is exactly the same on every pencil topper. So place it uh, on the fourth peg from the side to the fifth in the center. This one. Kind of make your eye face in that direction. That will be the nose. Create a second one exactly the same way. I already did, of course. Just like I did the ear. Also get it on there. On the opposite side. Like this. And grab a single black band and if you have them use these round bands these are well, very awesome for noses animal noses wrap it around four times here at the bottom four times and then we can loom yeah this is it for the uh, middle portion of the head so go behind your nose band, grab the first band you come across, loom over, can be a little bit more tight. Loom until the eyes in the center, stop looming. After that, now loom up the sides. Until you reach the eyes also. Stop after that. Make sure you go behind all your bands, stop there. Now grab the top of your head, um, have it upside down. You have the ears facing upwards, but you have to face them downwards. Now keep the tying bands towards you, those three loose ends. Stick your hook through the set in the center. There is basically a hole already. Make sure you have two loops on both sides of your hook. Then go inside this peg. And grab the bottom three bands. You might need to turn your loom for this. I have. Pull them upwards. Slide over the head. Keep those three loose ends facing towards you. Get inside here and loom diagonally. You can do that already. Then continue looming up the sides here. Just twice. Well, is a bit tight there. Also on the opposite side. Just loom twice. Like this. We're going to attach part of the ear there. But in order to get your head in the right position, you need to remove things you already loomed otherwise you can't stretch the head that far so remove part of your border collie from 
approximately until here. This looks really weird, but now you can grab the top of the head a tiny bit and you can flip it over like this. I think I will remove one more peg here beside the eyes. Yes, this is better. So it's almost completely loose already. We're going to slide this last set. We have loose here from the ear. It's a bit hard to explain. Stick your hook through from the back to the front in the, the last set here. Stick it through correctly so you have all the loops. <coughs> and then lift up that loomed set. Top two bands and slide it onto there and replace. That's it. It's not that hard, but can be a bit tricky. Well, same thing on the opposite side. I will turn my loom again for this. So stick your hook through from the back to the front. Make sure you have all the loops around your hook. Lift up those two top loomed bands and slide it all to there. Replace. Um, then we can loom diagonally and now we're going to attach those three loose ends also to those pegs. So stick your hook through on the side, put those bands around here and loom over the last set. Center, same thing, get it on there, loom over the last set. Oh, there are a lot of beds here in the center, so make sure you only grab the bottom two. I'm not doing that correctly. I have way too many bends. Yes, now I got them, so loom over. And this side also. Stretch it open, place it onto there, and loom that final set. You can remove all tying bands and replace them here at the bottom. This will take a bit longer, so I will grab some new ones. Remove them afterwards. There we go. You can remove this from your loom. You gotta make this a bit more loose, so stick your hook through. Well, doesn't want to with mine apart a tiny bit. It will look really weird, but we're gonna shape the ears later on when the pencil topper is finished. It really looks cool when done. But there we go. This will be the top of the head for now. You can remove the ear tying bands if you want to. I suggest you do. Otherwise, there will be way too much tying bands. So I will remove mine. And I guess I can remove this one also. We should have three bands left. There we go. Three last tying bands. Cute. He's also cute in brown. We're going to create a bottom jaw this time. Start with two bands at a time of your main body color. Like we mostly do. Are there any more suggestions for another breed? Please let me know in the comments below the video. Still two bands at a time of your main body color. Now downwards. 
or to your right, <laughs> depends on how you look at it. There we go. Two, two, and two here. Two white bands at a time now. And the rest will be double looped. So we're going to turn the loom. There's a double looped white here. All singles double looped. And another one. Now the sides. And diagonally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, that's it. Um, grab a single white band, wrap it around four times, and create a cap band here. Now we're going to place the horizontal bands, a single white double loop here. Single white double loop here, single white double loop here. Now grab two white bands, place them here, and grab two of your main body color bands, place them here. Now we're going to create the tongue. So grab your pink bands, a couple of them, place a double looped pink band here. Now grab two, two, these are two bands, and grab a single rabbit around three times. So it will be quite loose. You can loom this already and leave it on your loom, we will need it soon enough. So this will be the tongue. Very simple. Ugh, my tea is cold almost. I don't like iced tea, I like hot tea. But uh, that doesn't matter. So uh, we're going to uh, loom, I guess, yes. We're done already, guys and girls. So go behind that cap band, loom over diagonally. Don't miss your bands. <laughs> Continue looming up until you reach this pack. Grab your tongue, touch it onto that pack you just loomed up to. Get it around there and also loom those diagonally bands already. Oh, I have three there. Grab the top two and grab the bottom two bands. Now we're going to loom up the sides. Till you reach those two white bands, stop there. Same process on the opposite side. Grab those two white bands, stop there. Remove this from your loom a tiny bit to prevent your bands from snapping. So I will remove it until here. You can also leave it, but I don't don't want my bands to snap. Now grab the top of your head and we're going to attach those brown bands uh, onto this bag. So go besides the eye, but make sure you grab these bands and the bottom two here. 
because this is a tiny bit loose, you really need to find those bottom two bands. Otherwise you will stick your hook through this set incorrect. And then it will really look weird when you loom. So grab those bands. Get that around this peg. I know that ear is a tiny bit in a way. But then we can loom. Go inside that peg. And loom over. We have to do the same thing on the opposite side. Also search for the top two loops here from that stitch. And the bottom two. This is a bit tricky. Don't grab the horizontal bands. You need these bands. Place it onto here. Push down. Grab the bottom two brown bands. And loom. And then we can continue looming. And then your pencil topper is basically done already. Loom diagonally. Then loom upwards once more. And then we will attach the top of the head. So carefully remove this a tiny bit from your loom. So we don't have to stretch that head too far. So remove this part. Yes. And it's basically loose. And we're going to attach those three loose ends to those three pegs here. And then we are done. I always start with the center. This is the most uh, simple rotor. And make sure you stick your hook through these sets correctly. That ear is a tiny bit in the way there. So make sure you follow your slip knotted band. So you are certain you have all the loops. Get it around that pack. Like I said, it's a bit difficult because of those ears. Grab the bottom two, loom over. The same thing on the opposite side. Stick your hook through correctly. Follow that slip knot. Get it around here. I use my fingers this time. That works better. Push it down a tiny bit, make sure you only grab the bottom two bands, loom over. Remove your tying bands before anything else. Then all there is left to do is making slip knots with these bands. So lift them from your loom, pull the bottom two loops through the top two. And kind of pull tight. Same thing in the center. Pull tight. And this side. Ooh. Oh, stay on there. Well, that can happen, of course. I missed one. So, but I got it. And pulled through. Now you can remove the head from your loom. It's always the most tight here because there are so many bands there. But there we go. Yes. No need for the loom anymore. And you can uh, shape those ears a tiny bit. Not that much, but you can make them, if you pull your hook through some bands here, through the loops, I will pull a bit on them so they curve forward. But you can make it curve any way you like, to be honest. So it will curve a bit. That looks totally different than that ear. It's just straight on, which looks a bit weird. So stick your hook through some bands here, through the sets and pull it forward. So you can basically shape how it falls. Mm, this looks so cute. I'll also pull a bit on this to get the nose down. Pull a bit on the tongue, squeeze the bottom jaw. 
Yeah, this is awesome. Well, we're going to hide those bands inside, stick your hook through the mouth, grab those bands here, try not to get your hook stuck inside of there, but that's quite difficult not to do so. Go inside again and grab those bands in the center. This really is not that easy. Because your hook gets stuck all the time. Kind of pull it in. Grab those two. There we go, there we go. Well, those in the center aren't hidden all that well. You don't want to get inside there. Oh, there are so many bends there. Oh, the phone is ringing. One hour later! Well guys, I'm back again. I will put this uh, behind uh, the video and I will make... Uh, I will glue those videos together. So, we finished the Border Collie here. As you can see, there we have it. Now I have two of them again. I always have two of them because I design it straight from my head without drawing it on paper. I, I draw it on paper after I designed it visually on my loom. So um, now we have two of those cute dogs. Oh, they are both so awesome. I hope you enjoyed this uh, tutorial. Also, a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done it already. Um, thank you all for following me and supporting me. So if you have another request for another breed, please put that uh, below in the comments so I can find it and try out if that will work. Um, so I can create some other pencil toppers. And guys, have fun and enjoy your day. Bye bye. <laughs>